Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S4 Root.com and uh, I just got my Verizon Galaxy S4. Uh, although I have root instructions, I know some of you are having trouble, so let me step, uh, make a tutorial, step by step by step tutorial guide on how to root your Verizon Galaxy S4 uh, using a Windows computer. You can use any Windows computer. Um, I'll have another method using Mac or Linux eventually uh, when I have time. So let's go do this, very easy to do. First thing you wanna do is go to menu settings and go to uh, about phone here and make sure your build number, well actually make sure what the build number is here. Uh, if you have MDK in the end of it, VRUA MDK exactly like that, that's what it, the latest build number is, that's the build number that Verizon released. Uh, if you have that, you can follow everything in this video but um, if you're in the future, maybe a couple months later down the line, Verizon releases a new build number, new firmware, uh, it might be different. If it is different, go ahead and check my site uh, in the description. I should have a fix for it. Um, the only th it's gonna be nearly identical. The only thing different, uh, if you have a future version, is that you're gonna be flashing the newer uh, stock kernel instead of the MDK kernel. So go ahead and check my site if you're in the future. If you have this one, just go ahead and follow exactly what I do in this video. So what we're gonna do, um, first we're gonna go ahead and power off the phone, and we're gonna put it into this mode called download mode. Um, so I'll explain how this routing process works. So go ahead and power off your phone completely. Go ahead and ho hold down the volume down here. Hold it down, keep holding it down, and the center home button here. All right, keep holding it down. And then you're gonna hold down the power button. It's all three buttons together. I'll give it about two seconds and you'll get this warning screen. Let go of the, all the buttons. And go ahead and hit volume up. All right, and this is called the Odin download mode. And we're gonna go ahead and connect our micro USB cable here. And we're gonna go to our computer. Next, go ahead and download uh, Verizon Galaxy S4 root mdk.zip. If you download and unzip the files, uh, in the zip file, you'll get all of these different files. Make sure you extract it. Um, sometimes people don't extract it and then get a bunch of errors while trying to run it. Um, go ahead and extract it. And next, what you're gonna do, uh, let me explain before, um, before we do the root, how this works. Basically, um, the Verizon Galaxy S4 ships with MDK kernel, uh, which can't be rooted using the Moto Chopper method. But uh, the developers fi have figured out that by flashing an older MD2 uh, pre-release kernel that uh, you'll be able to use Moto Chopper root method um, to root your phone. Now, when you install MD2K kernel, your phone will run fine, but stuff like Wi-Fi may be broken or Bluetooth and stuff. So what we're gonna do after we root it, um, after flashing MD2 and then rooting our phone using Moto Chopper, we're gonna go ahead and flash the stock MDK kernel back. Now, if you're in the future, um, I'll probably have a fix, Whatever, let, let's say maybe MDL or something, then I'll have MDL kernel flash, you can flash instead of the MDK. So that's why I told you in the beginning of this video to check my site for any fixes if you're in the future. If you're not, go ahead and just follow it. So let's go ahead and flash the MD2 kernel. I'll go ahead and open up Odin 3 V185 and click on yes. And this will bring up the Odin program. Now you should get some kind of com sign here um, it doesn't, the number doesn't matter, just yellow box with a com, random number. Uh, if you don't see that, that means you don't have drivers installed. So go back to the files you downloaded, double click on Samsung USB driver for mobilephones.exe here, and this will install the drivers uh, for you. And once it's done installing, go ahead and unplug your phone and plug it back in. You should see this yellow highlight sign. Uh, if you for some reason, if you don't see it, um, try plugging it in on another USB port, or also if that doesn't work, you can try rebooting your computer. You will eventually be able to get this. Um, so go ahead and make sure you can see this yellow highlight sign. And we're gonna go ahead and choose PDA. Don't touch anything else. Uh, you can mess up your phone really bad. Touch the PDA button right there. And we're gonna go ahead and find this MD2 file. So go ahead and click on PDA. And we're gonna go ahead and go into the directory where you have all the files. And I'm gonna choose the MD2 kernel here. Open and hit start, and that's pretty much it. And let me go ahead and back away a little bit so you can see better there. There 
we go. And this will install the MD2 kernel. Your phone will still boot. It's a pre-release kernel. Um, it's just that some things might be broken, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna do it for rooting and then we're gonna reflash the, uh, the MDK. So leave that aside and then we're gonna go ahead and boot it up. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and use the Moto Chopper method. And next what you wanna do, all right, let it boot up. It should boot up pretty quickly. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unlock it and go ahead and go to menu settings. Oops. Oh, my phone's not activated yet, so hold on. All right, you're gonna go to menu settings and then go to more. Go to about phone here. Go all the way down and uh, click on the blip build number here. Go ahead and click on it a bunch of times until it says developer mode has been enabled. Uh, and then go ahead and hit the back button. Um, then you'll be able to see the developer options. That's how you enable developer options, by the way. Uh, and make sure developer options is checked on like that. And make sure USB debugging is checked on. Click OK. All right. And set it aside. And we're going to go ahead and run the Moto Chopper rooting program. So go ahead and double click on Moto Chopper here. And simply double click on run.bat. And uh, click on run. All right, and this will bring up the Moto Chopper method. Go ahead and hit enter to continue. And go ahead and hit OK. Make sure you hit OK on your phone. All right, and then it will start rooting your phone. All right, so let it, let it root your phone. And if it asks you verify apps, say agree. And if it asks you allow USB debugging, uh, hit OK again. It might do that a couple times, so just make sure um, actually, you know what? It is done. That was quick. Um, so go ahead and hit enter, and your phone will reboot. And oops, go ahead and hit enter there, and your phone will reboot, and you will have a fully rooted Verizon Galaxy S4. But now, because you're on the MD2 pre release kernel, some things like Wi Fi might be broken. So we're going to go ahead and reflash the stock kernel back, and you'll have the uh, a rooted, completely rooted uh, with everything stock. So I'll be back when this is done. All right, my phone has booted here and it's activating again. Hold on a second. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and go to apps here. Um, go find an app called Super SU. There we go, Super User. Um, so you've got Super User there. Go ahead and click on it. All right, there's no uh, super user app policies. Next, what you want to do is uh, go to the Play Store, and we're going to actually switch from super super user app to super SU um, because the super SU uh, app will allow us to keep root when we flash the stock kernel back. So go ahead and super go ahead and download and install super SU, the free version here. Um, go ahead and accept, and this will install it. And go ahead and open up super SU. And it says SU binary needs to be updated. Hit continue, all right, and just hit normal, all right. And go ahead and uh, make sure you hit allow for Super SU, all right. Uh, and uh, it says uh, attempt to uninstall Super User, and go ahead and hit OK, all right. And now you should go to your app drawer. Instead of super SU, uh, super user, you should have super SU. Um, next, let's go ahead and reinstall the MDK kernel back. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and reflash the older, uh, or the new, the, the original MDK kernel. So go ahead and power off, and we're gonna put it into download mode again. And wait till it completely powers off. And go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power button and wait about three seconds and boom you got the warning sign go ahead and hit volume up and go ahead and connect it back to your computer via micro usb and let's go to our computer all right we're almost done here we're going to go ahead and go back to odin here uh, we're going to go ahead and choose pda again but instead of the md2 we're going to choose mdk or if you're on the future versions you're going to choose uh, you're going to probably download another kernel and choose that so i'm going to choose the mdk hit open and hit start. 
and this will flash the kernel here. And if you see resets pass, you're good to go. You should be fully rooted now. Um, you'll get this custom so sign, uh, and you'll be fully rooted on completely stock uh, Verizon, you know, stock firmware. So it gives you root. So I'll be back when this completely boots. Hi right, folks, so you should be fully uh, rooted now with the original stock kernel. Go ahead and download an app like Titanium uh, Backup app here. And go ahead and install it. And you should now be able to get um, run any of your favorite uh, root apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open. And if you see super user request window, like here, there we go. Um, you're all good to go. Make sure you hit grant. Um, you're fully rooted on Verizon Galaxy S4. And uh, if you want to go step further and install um, Clockwork Mod Recovery or Tour Recovery, let me actually show you that just as an extra if you're watching this video. Go ahead and hit uh, ROM Manager. Go ahead and download ROM Manager. And go ahead and install, accept. And also go ahead and download Goo Manager. Um, so if you want Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can install ROM Manager. If you want twerp recovery, you can go ahead and hit uh, install Goo Manager, or you can switch back and forth. Very easy to do. So you should now have a Goo Manager and uh, ROM, or is it ROM Manager here? So if you want uh, twerp recovery, go to Goo Manager and make sure you hit Grant here. Go go here and and click on Install Open Recovery Script. Um, say yes. And uh, if it says uh, JFLTVZW there, you can say yes, and this will install uh, Clockwork My Recovery. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to actually install Clockwork My Recovery. So I'm going to go to ROM Manager instead, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, Install Clockwork My Recovery, and also click on Samsung uh, Galaxy S4 Verizon. All right, and go ahead and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. This will download it, flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, which has a uh, low key, it, it will, even though it's locked bootloader, make sure you hit grant, it will work now because uh, it has been low keyed. Um, so there we go, cancel. And uh, try if it works, go ahead and click on reboot into recovery, hit okay, and boom, now you should have a fully rooted phone along with Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery. Hello. Now, if you if your phone hangs, sometimes that happens or it's really slow. You can get into it man. Oh, it is going. Never mind. You can get it also get into it manually by powering off your phone, holding down volume down center home and the power button. And when you see that recovery uh, sign, you can let go of the power button. But it's doing it automatically, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, but it should now um, boot into Clock Remote Recovery, and you should be ready to flash ROMs. Uh, backup, restore, uh, install ROMs. Oh, it didn't work for some reason. Let's do it manually. Sometimes that happens. Put the f uh, battery back in, volume up, center home, and the power. Give it a second here. And when you see recovery booting at the top of the screen, let go of all the buttons. You can put the back cover on real quick. And that's how you get into uh, Clockwork Mile Recovery. Or um, there you go. Or tour recovery manually. Anyway, I highly suggest you to go to backup and restore and backup uh, your ROM. This will backup everything. And do use a micro SD card and use the backup to external SD card so it doesn't take up uh, space in your internal storage. Anyway, that's how you can root your Verizon Galaxy S4 and also install Twerp or Clock Remote Recovery. And uh, this should work uh, for those of you having trouble. And uh, as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS4root.com. We update you once a week with round of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And stay high on Android, folks. Uh.